tell you what. Uncomfortable silences. So nice to be home. Have you ever been watching a movie? I'm so glad you're home. What are you doing after the tour? And there's suddenly a moment. Why can't you? Come to Boise? Yeah. Because I have to rehearse. Yeah, but can't you rehearse anywhere? Of uncomfortable silence. Anywhere you are? I mean, I guess. Not that you are necessarily aware in the moment that silence has taken place, but that the mood has shifted. Being light. Why do you care so much about being light? You're an actress. What are you talking about? <sighs> And that small attention to detail has paid off in a huge way. Because in film, silence is not just silence. It's an intentional use of sound design. And the way the silence is used in a scene can say everything about the mood of a character and the world around them. So let's get quiet and watch. Let's say you've already written a story. What use is silence to you? Well, the first and most common use of silence is extension of the world. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. This is how you and I see it every day. We think of it as part of the environment. But as we take it in a scene, we can either accept the silence as comfortable or unsettling. Whether our characters are safe or in danger. Like all sound design, what we hear is equally as important as what we see on the screen. And silence is a simple way to tell a story beyond dialogue. Rather than saying explicitly the mood of the characters, we are shown it. Whether that's flirtation, or hatred, pride, or disappointment, comedy, or tragedy. The second and more unusual use of silence is for audience ambiguity. For instance, in the movie Silence, Martin Scorsese has no musical score throughout the film to emote the music of existence. Likewise, the Coen brothers purposefully didn't include a score in No Country for Old Men as a technique for the audience to emotionally be on the same page as the characters. not having music and not helping the audience to know where we're gonna go next was a gigantic boost to the suspense of the film. You really did not know what was gonna happen next. And you were never like given a hall pass to think, oh, okay, well, this is gonna happen now. Get ready, because here it comes. The third and more commonly applicable use of silence is sign of respect for those who have died. The powerful thing about silence is that it forces us to sit with our own thoughts. It is difficult to ever truly be in absolute silence. The only way we will ever experience complete silence is when our body is put to rest. None of these uses of silence are mutually exclusive. In fact, in A Quiet Place, John Krasinski creates a world where silence is the only way to survive. Silence then becomes environmental, a way for ambiguity, and respect for the dead. This is what great sound design can get you. There is a moment. that one detail that pays off in unexpected ways. The ability to transcend the picture on the screen and the silence that is written on each of us in our heart.
Just one minute of silence. So next time you have a scene and you want to demonstrate the character's tone, ask yourself this. What can you present without dialogue or music? And is there a way for that silence to become something more?